So my former boss, Congressman Barney Frank, one of the leaders in the affordable housing movement, is something that he cared about. He was chairman of the Financial Services Committee, he was chairman of the Housing Subcommittee, and we did a lot to increase Section 8 funding. Section 8 funding, of course, allows people to rent and to do so at a decreased rate, but it also spreads people around. That's, that's really important. One of the things we've learned uh, in, over the years is that it's not a good idea to put all the people who are in public housing in one place. That's what they learned the hard way could really read in Chicago. That's why they knocked those places down. It's much better for people of different socioeconomic levels to live among each other. It actually helps encourage people to make their lives better, to see people of different socioeconomic classes all living together, and that's something I very much would support. Uh, I did want to say that um, uh, the International Auto Dealers Association, which uh, Don Byer was chairman of, is considered a lobby by OpenSecrets.org. Uh, and uh, in fact, um, under that, as you know, uh, there's an article that's written there where Don Byer actually opposed the progressive income tax. He supported Tom DeLay's plan to replace the, the progressive income tax and the state tax with the national sales tax. And I'd love to hear uh, Don explain you know, if he's changed his views on that, because I don't know that. At the end of the day, people are asking the question, who's going to stand up for ordinary people, the kind that need affordable housing, the kind that need the progressive And I think you can ask the question, who will look out for